What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. Today for you I'm bringing you a Disneyland hacks video. I am so excited, super excited because I love Disneyland. I've been going for many many years and now I live in Southern California and I'm a season pass holder so I'd like to consider myself a Disneyland professional. I have four kids and you know how hard that is so I drag all my four kids to Disneyland and I am a Virgo organized freak. If you guys don't know that about me, I love making my list and having everything and being super prepared. So I'm doing a whole series here on my channel. I'm going to be doing like what's in my bag, how I pack my stroller. My next video is going to be Disneyland with kids. Today is going to be all of my in most important tips, tricks, and hacks to be a Disneyland professional. So definitely consider subscribing and hitting that little bell because I do a lot of mommy, lifestyle, organization videos and I would love to have you guys. I'll be linking everything in the down bar below including my website. And if you feel like depositing some positive energies, give your girl a thumbs up, I'd so appreciate it. So if you guys wanna see all of my tips and tricks and hacks and everything that I've compiled and learned so you guys can cut that learning curve out and be a professional your first time going to Disneyland, then just keep watching. All right, you guys, my first tip is check the crowds before you go. There's plenty of websites. This one I found actually has real people on here telling you their experience. This one says crowd levels are across Disneyland Resort have been very high today thanks to an expo going on. There's gridlocks basically around the whole park. So find something, uh, some website that shows you what the crowds are like. Now, tip number two, get a discount on a gift card at Target. I go online to my Target app and I type in Disney gift card and it'll take you to all the gift cards. But if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will see an online e-gift card, which is awesome because you have to do it the day before. It takes about four hours to get into your email, but you have your gift card on your phone the whole day and you won't lose it. I absolutely love this hack. I did $200 personally, so basically I paid $190 for a $200 gift card. You can get your tickets, you can get your annual passes, whatever you want, it's so amazing. Tip number three and four, download the Disneyland app and buy your tickets. This app is the hub for Disneyland and California Adventure and everything that you need, all of the show times. It's basically that little pamphlet at the at your fingertips in your cell phone. It has what time the parks open, what's closed for refurbishment, it has all the blackout dates, and definitely buy your ticket here so you can avoid those huge lines in the beginning and get your ticket right to your phone. It's so convenient. I also wanted to show you guys all the prices. So here is the prices for all the adult tickets, max passes, park hoppers. We'll get into max passes later. And here is the prices for the children. So here's also the different hoppers. Tip number five, buy Disney pins from eBay. You guys, our pin game is strong around here. We love trading pins. And if you go to eBay and type in Disney pins, you're gonna find huge lots for a great price because you can get them at the park, but they're like $28 for eight pins. It's ridiculous. So go here and you can trade them anyways. That's the whole fun of it. All the people around the park and stores have pins you can trade. You can trade with other people. It's so much fun. So if you don't know about it, get on it. You're gonna love it. Tip number six, get your mind right. Now, when you go to Disneyland, you're thinking everybody's gonna be so nice. All the people that work there, everything's gonna be great. And yes, there are those moments, but I'm telling you firsthand that there's moments where things are not like that. There's rude people walking in line, people are bumping into you, you get your foot ran over, you get shoved, you get pushed, you get knocked down. I mean, crazy things happen. People steal things, I mean, it's really sad to say, but you just have to you know, keep an eye out have a positive attitude and keep rolling with it. Things here happen just like anywhere else in the world. You're not exempt from things when you're at Disneyland. So as long as that doesn't ruin your time and you can just brush things off and roll with the punches, you're gonna be good to go. And just know you're not coming to Disneyland to ride rides. You're coming to Disneyland to wait in line. A lot of people think, oh, I'm going there to be on rides all day, but you're basically waiting there. So as long as you're in line and you're enjoying each other's company, that's what it's all about. Tip number seven, pack and dress accordingly. That may seem simple, but I've seen girls in high heels and I'm just, I, it blows my mind. Dress comfortable, trust me. You're gonna be walking miles and miles and standing. I think it's worse than walking is just standing there. 
and I just feel like I jazz it up with a cute belt, my little Mickey ears, and you're good to go. Tip number eight, pack with simple zippers and clear bags. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys a whole video on this coming up very soon, everything that I keep inside this bag, but my bag has two zippers and I keep everything inside organized with clear pouches. Tip number nine, bring an external battery. I promise you, you guys, your phone will die halfway through. You're just gonna be taking so many pictures, you're gonna be looking in your app to see the wait times, but Disneyland now has these portable chargers. You can pay $30 one time and every time it dies, you just get it replaced, which is really nice. Tip number 10, you wanna use the far right lane when you get to the Mickey parking structure. And also, there is preferred parking. Not everybody knows that you can pay an extra $15 and you get to park a little bit closer and you get to be as close as possible to the elevators. So I think this is a really nice option. It's up to you. We do it definitely, I say 50% of the time. Okay, more like 80% of the time. My husband loves to do the VIP parking. Tip number 11, walk instead of using the tram. I personally don't like using the tram. Even when I'm with my kids, I'd rather just walk. It takes you to downtown Disney, which I just love walking through downtown Disney anyways. And you get to see everything and definitely adds walking time to your day. But it's faster to me than getting on the tram, waiting in line, finding a seat. I just feel like the tram is so stressful. But I wanted to show you guys, you walk to the left here, through this little pathway and you can walk all the way there. Now this is all the people walking by, getting in line for the tram, I just wanted to show you guys. Tip number 12, be prepared for security. Do not come to security with a bag that has a million zippers. That was my tip from earlier to let you guys know they have to open every single zipper, every single bag. So just be prepared to go through security just like you're at the airport. You're not gonna get pat down, but you definitely keep that in mind. Tip number 13, don't bring in extending tripods or selfie sticks. You can bring this one because it does not extend, but I've seen so many pissed off people get turned away at the front. Tip number 14, purchase a max pass for digital fast passes and pictures. So all you do is you just go to your app, go to the fast pass and max passes. Make sure you guys are getting those fast passes also as fast as you see them because they sell out. It's super weird, but definitely check those out. All the fast pass kiosks are gonna be next to either the entrance or the exit, and to use them, you just go to the sign on the side that says fast pass. Tip number 15, use the app to purchase food. This is so cool, you guys. You can order your food from the app. All you do is click which place that is available, and you start ordering stuff, add it to your cart, and pay with the card you have saved on file, and it's that simple. So we ordered some things from the Bengal barbecue place, and then you go to the right-hand side, and it has a little window, and you basically pass up the whole entire crowd and pick up your food, so nice. Tip number 16, download games in the Disneyland app. We always play heads up, but this time we were playing the new Disney Play app, which is really cool. You pick which park you're going to, and there's so many neat features. You can play trivia, and there's music you can play along the way. There's spots where if you're standing in a place, you can earn points. I forgot what they're called, but it's really cool. So definitely check that out. My kids loved it, and there's so many different things that you can utilize in this app. So play this or another game while you're waiting in line. It'll be a lot of fun and it will pass the time. Tip number 17, go to Pooh's Corner and beat the crowds to get a sweet treat. Now all the ones on Main Street are always pretty busy, but when you go to Pooh's Corner, they have so many unique things and things they don't have around the rest of the park. And I love coming here and buying things. But what I also like is you can see them making the things right here really up close. I feel like when you're on Main Street, it's kind of hard to get a peek, but when you come here, you can walk over through the little window while you're waiting in line and see everything that they're making. Right now they're doing the Tigger Tails, which my kids absolutely love. These were the sweets that we got. Obviously my kids are super excited, but they were so yummy and delicious, so definitely beat the crowds the next time you guys come. Tip number 18, don't forget about the Beast Library. I never knew about this place, you guys, and I've been to Disneyland so many times. This was my second time coming here. 
I went to show this to my kids for the first time, but this is at the animation studio and you walk inside and it is so cool. There is all these different rooms you can go into. You can go to Turtle Talk. You can see, visit the princesses, Anna and Elsa. You can do a animation academy where you learn how to draw something. This was another room that you walk into before Beast Library that you can draw something that actually moves like animation. But this room was so cool, you guys. Like just walking in, it just, it was epic. That's all I can say. And what's really cool is you go to these little computers and it tells you which character you're like. It asks you a variety of questions and my daughter loved this. She had so much fun and you basically just punch in everything and then she got Belle, which I mean, I'm kind of jealous because I wish I would have got that. <laughs> Tip number 19, watch fireworks and parades at It's a Small World. You guys are gonna get a whole new experience back here. And what's really cool is I feel like it's not as crowded and there's just more room to spread out. So definitely watch the parades. They actually start from here. So they'll come out of a little area and the parades will begin here. So you'll be seeing everything first, which is really cool. But the experience here is just so much fun. I just like the vibe and the energy a lot better too. You can see everything clearly. And like I said, it's way less crowded. So definitely come back here, check it out and have a new experience by It's a Small World ride. Tip number 20, get a reservation at River Bell Terrace. Oh my gosh, you guys, get the preferred viewing. This is so great. You don't have to buy an extra ticket. You just have to pay for the food. You do have to make a reservation and stand in line for it, but I'm telling you, it's so much easier than sitting there and trying to fight people to reserve seating for Fantasmic. This was so nice. You get to sit in a chair and sit in the comfort at the comfort of your table and watch the whole thing. So. It was wonderful, I absolutely loved it. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my Disneyland hacks video. I had so much fun doing this for you guys. It was a labor of love, this took me time, but I am so glad I did it because I'm hoping that your next Disneyland trip is gonna be easy and amazing at the same time. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell because I got that series coming for you guys. And if you can use any of the tips or tricks that I gave you here today, give your girl a thumbs up. I'll be listing, like I said, everything in the down bar, including my website. And if you guys have made it to the end, thank you. You so much it means so much to me when you watch my whole video all the way through give your girl a lollipop emoji and let me know that you did and also what are your favorite hacks rides and desserts I would like to know in the comments let me know we can share all this information with our friends down below and until next time I'm always your girl Lorna Marie bye